Good morning everyone, welcome to another video. It is Thursday the 27th of February and today I will hopefully be able to give you a solid update about my injury. As you may know I crashed in Sleeman almost a month ago. I don't really like to talk about the injury so that's why I'm just gonna make a video and then hopefully not talk about it anymore. I crashed at Sleeman, that was a week before Shepparton, so we immediately knew that I wasn't able to ride Shepparton, that, that was way too quick, because it was a pretty bad crash, uh, so I tried to focus on riding in Bathurst, I did everything I can to recover as fast as I could, and then being in Bathurst, uh, I did all the track sessions, which went pretty good, but I still didn't recover fast enough. It's hard to get back to where you were before your crash mentally as well. So eventually we decided that I was not riding Bathurst. So then I went home a few days after Bathurst. And when I got home, I needed to go back into the scaling that we use. When you crash, you have several stages. Uh, in the different stages, you have different intensity of exercises. And because of the jet lag, of course, and the time differences, I needed to go uh, back. And at first, I was shocked that I needed to do it because I didn't get it. But at the end, I noticed that I was uh, more tired and had more headaches and stuff. So I get it now. And now, I'm already two weeks at home. And it's going better. Last week, I probably would have said that it wasn't going as fast as I wanted to. But this week, I've made pretty big steps and I feel way better. I've got way more energy. I'm not as grumpy to Laura. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Sorry. The sports doctor gave me a schedule that I need to try to follow every day. Uh, I really needed to get this routine back into my day, but like more of a strict routine and it's working really well. I do feel a lot better since I've been doing that. So the last few weeks have mostly been light exercises. I am doing I am doing gym, I am doing sprints. I haven't been on the track yet, but I think that'll be a good step for next week. I've mostly been doing um, sprints on the wall bike or endurance ride on the wall bike, uh, recovery rides on the wall bike, and some exercises that Laura like throws a ball and I need to catch it but I'm on standing on one leg so it's more like coordination and sometimes it can be really frustrating because you want to do like your training sessions like you normally would and this isn't fun recovery is never fun so today is just one of those days that I really don't want to do something and Something I don't want to do today is those freaking, even though it's just 20 minutes and just five sprints, I really don't want to do it because it's boring. And normally I'd go to the gym right now and do cleans and front squats and whatnot. Oh, so it's so fucking frustrating. Sorry. It is hard sometimes. I think I'm coping pretty well. Uh, I'm very positive about it, and I'm very positive to get back on my bike soon. I am excited to get on with this and to get back on the bike, because, you know, I've been looking at all my old videos and Australia and stuff, and it just makes me want to, like, I want to do that again. I want to lift weights. I want to be on a bike. I even want to do full laps right now. And it's raining, and it's three degrees. Whoa. Yeah, like three degrees Celsius or something. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I'll keep you up to date. And yeah, have a nice day. And I'll see you next week.